After Ciel Nordstrom, the GDI presents to us Jeremy Rifkin as part of the Thought Leader series. Jeremy Rifkin is a senior lecturer at the Wharton Business Executive Education Program and he has been advising both the European Commission and the European Parliament. The seminar he's holding tonight is about his latest book, The Empathic Civilization. Mr. Rifkin, could you summarize to us quickly what the main thesis are of your book? The main thesis is that uh, for a long time we've had a, um, a very unflattering picture of human nature that wasn't correct. Uh, the Enlightenment philosophers said that human beings are autonomous, utilitarian, self-interested, materialistic, aggressive, and competitive. And we built an entire civilization based on these wrong-headed ideas. What we're learning now in biology is that human beings are not that way. That human beings are born to be social, to be intimate, to be affectionate, and we are actually wired for empathy. It's actually in our biology so that we can reach out and experience another person, their feelings, as if we were imagining those feelings ourselves. So what we need to do now is if that's our core nature, we need to rethink our parenting styles, our educational models, our business models, our governance, so our true nature, our core nature can flourish. Then we can begin to think as a human race. And then we can begin to create a global economy based on understanding we're an extended family. Then we can begin to realize our fellow creatures are part of that evolutionary family and we live in one community, the biosphere. If we can create that, we can understand Homo empathicus. That's our nature, to be social and to be connected. We may have an opportunity to create an empathic civilization and then hopefully address with some of the great challenges facing us, especially climate change. That's it. And as usual at the GDI, after a very interesting and visionary presentation, people get together for a glass of wine. And this is surely a good moment for empathy.